Check this out. It hasn't been such a long time okay, since people first started well, shopping online, and it was, it was easy to keep up with it. Little by little by little by more, the clicks added up to be more than the stores and retailers worked harder than ever before because they had to change the clicks. The clicks came from laptops, then tablets and phones, Monday through Sunday, office and home, 24 hours in every zone, and still they kept up with the clicks. Now shoppers ask more from the websites they're on, their language, their currency, their way, or their goals, and you better keep up with the clicks. All of a sudden, there are so many must-dos if you want to keep selling bread delivery there, no there, or there. And make it tomorrow, the first thing. No time for borders. You've got to stay in control, to stay in the flow, and continue to grow. But keep up with the clicks. Lots of heavy showers. Sculpting in marble requires a huge amount of skill. Good sculptors were in demand in ancient Rome. In terms of status, they were the job of artisans. A few star names of Canaltas. Sculptor Massimo Galeni is making a copy of a Roman bust using a hammer and chisel with his diamonds for the top. And then we've got back to the Which is significant with a bus like this, because what you can see with the pandemic, Brazil This is BBC World News, I'm Stephen Sacker and these are our top stories. The Taliban continues to make dramatic military gains across Afghanistan, wresting control of Kandahar, the country's second largest city, and Lashkagar from the Afghan government. The US and UK are urgently sending troops back into Afghanistan to protect their embassies and prepare for potential evacuation. We're going to be live in Kabul, talking to an aid worker as the humanitarian situation deteriorates. Also on the program, as intense fires rage across the western states of the US, we fly over Washington state to see how new technology is being deployed to battle the flames. And a big win for Britney Spears. Her father agrees to step down from his role as guardian of her estate.
Hello and a very warm welcome. In a devastating blow for the Afghan government, five more provincial capitals have fallen to the Taliban in the last 24 hours. The militants now control 14 provincial capitals and most of northern Afghanistan. In a sign of their growing alarm, the US and Britain are sending troops back into the country to help evacuate their nationals. Now, the Taliban have made rapid gains since July, taking swathes of territory in the past month to leave Afghanistan looking like this. The militant group's gains have been rapid in the past few days and indeed.